G'day guys, Luke here, welcome back to another video. This is the Raptor Room update for July 2019. Let's get to it. This here is Monty, my shingleback skink. He's housed in an old three foot fish tank. He's fed on chicken and turkey dog food, carrot, bok choy, apple and blueberries. He's got his custom built hide, his heat, uh, heat lamp and his UV. A fake plant, the substrates to koi uh, peat mix, and a fake background. In this three foot reptile one enclosure houses Chris, he's my black headed python, fed on uh, juvenile rats, so he's termite hide there with a couple of rocks around it, fake plant backgrounding on it, his heat globe, which is a 60 watt Phillips heat globe, his stick, he likes to climb on, custom built hide. His water bowl is back there, and his substrates the uh, standing with Monty's, which is that koi peat stuff. This here, guys, are my breeding pair of Ben and geckos, salt and pepper. Pepper's the one at the back there, while salt is the one that's jumping off my hand now. They are housed in a two foot enclosure with sand with a 100 watt uh, moon light globe. Uh, they've got their custom built hide, fake plant sticks. A rock over there, a rock height, sorry, water bowl, and a fed on crickets. We've got the fake background. This here, guys, is Lord Chocolate, the little baby gecko that I hatched out this year. Lord Chocolate is housed in this tub here, fed on crickets. Uh, every couple of days, get misted. Oh, by the way, guys, the adults do get misted with water every couple of days. Got a heat mat underneath there with a hide and a water dish in the corner here. She's fed on pinhead crickets. She probably eat about four a night or every couple of nights. She's got sand in there for her to dig. It's actually very good enrichment for these guys. In this three foot extra terror enclosure houses Bamman, my my old pygmy bearded dragon. He's sitting underneath his heat globe and UV. He's on his brick which he can hide underneath. He's got his dragon head, a couple of rocks. He's got bug toy, apple and carrot as his feed. I do occasionally give all my lizards crickets. So his fake plant, his hammock, his cool hide underneath, his water dish in the corner, and his substrate, and his foam back wall. Oh sorry, no foam uh, fake background. This is Charles, my albino darling carpet python. He's housed in a one foot reptile one enclosure. He's fed on uh, fuzzy mice now. He's got his hides down here. So over in this corner he's got his warm, uh, warm one which has a heat mat underneath. And he's got his cool hide on the other side. He's got his stick that he's currently sitting on. He's got a couple of bits of wood in there and his water dish. In this little terrarium here houses Steve who's my scorpion. Just sitting there. He's got his hide at the back there with a fake plant. He's got a fake uh, rock there with a cricket hiding in there. His substrate is the sand and his water dish that he's currently drink out of. So in this three foot enclosure houses Emma, who's my supposedly male blind spider python. There you go, a bit of light. The reason why they moved Charles away from this one is because sadly due to the poor weather and a bit of a water spillage in here, humidity has worn up and sadly Mr Emma here has I've uh, got an RI, which is respiratory infection. I will be treat. I have been treating it lately. Hopefully, it gets better soon. Otherwise, I will be taking him to the vets. So he's got his hide there, which is his cool one. By the way, he's fed on adult mice. Need his water bowl, and I need to kind of change over from it tipping over. He's got his sticks. He can climb on his cool hide over here. Also, his warmer hide. Sorry, over here. A couple of rocks down here. He's got a heat mat underneath here, which is set at 33 degrees Celsius. We're we'll hopefully help him get over his uh, illness in a way. With all my enclosures, by the way, guys, I haven't been saying it with the beginning enclosures. They're all set at between 30 to 34 degrees Celsius in the warm spot, while the cool side would be between 20 to 25 degrees Celsius. In this three foot reptile zoo enclosure houses Rex with my male Centralian beta dragon. Hey big boy. So 
he's fed on apple, dog food, oh, sorry, dog food, bug toy and carrot, on occasion crickets. He goes styrofoam rock he likes to sit on. So a couple of rocks down here that absorb the heat, so at night they keep warm. So his little corner that he likes to also sleep in. Fake plant, foam wall, his peak globe, a couple of fake plants, a couple of sticks, his water dish, his hide, another fake plant, and his UV, and he's got his substrate. In this three foot enclosure houses Superstar and Graham, my two female blind spider pythons. They've got the heat globe up here, a couple of hides over here with fake plant. There's a warmer or a log on here. And a custom built hide with the water dish and a couple sticks from the climb on and a few rocks to help them shed their skin. So this is Superstar. This is under here. There she is. She's the eldest out of the bunch. And both of them are fed on extra large adult mice. She's coming out to say hello. And under here she'll be Graham. Hello big girl. So those are my two females. This here is Blaine, my probably uh, female lowland botch blue tongue. Blaine's house in a three foot extra terrain enclosure. He gets his heat from Akko, who will get in a minute. If you rise up through and uh, heat his enclosure. So a little spider plant there. He's fed on carrot, bok choy, apple, dog food, and they've got blueberry there. Got a UV up here. Foam wall, water dish, a couple of rocks for him to grind down his nails, fake plant, and a couple of custom built hides that are built for him. And he's got his substrate that he can dig in if he wants to. Or should I say she, since I might be a female. And this one foot enclosure houses Crystal, my little female uh, pygmy bearded dragon. She's sitting on a stick that she likes to bask on. The heat's up here, UV as well. Got a fake plant there, and I'll stick with her to climb on. A couple of rocks. She's fed on apple, bug toy, and carrot. On the occasion, crickets as well. Got a couple of hides for her, her hiding if she needs to. A substrate that she would dig in. Water dish. So that's crystal. And this four foot enclosure houses Akko, who's my female eastern water dragon. How that gorgeous. She is fed on bok toy, carrot, apple, and dog food. She's got a hammock, a couple of spider plants that I just added recently in there. Sorry about the lighting, it's just that I had to put a different globe in here since the old one just blew this morning. She's got a substrate, the rocks over here, hopefully the light adjusts. Come on, there we go. That water bowl that she likes to hide or yeah but she's hiding and swimming. Got a couple of wooden slabs in here for her to sit on and a nice stick for her to climb on and a fake background and this four foot enclosure houses my two eastern blue tongues blue and bow they've got a couple of log hides over here water dish the uv up there the heat globe custom built hide a fake rock here and a, a sandstone rock so let's see you get a shot so bow is the one in the hide and blue is the one basking they're very similar in coloration, very dark eastern blue tongues, both siblings, and they're fed on buck toy, apple, carrot, blueberry, and uh, dog food, which is also their chicken flavoured. This here is Murray, my male coastal jungle carpet python. He's housed in a four foot tall custom built enclosure. Down here he's got his uh, hide and his water bowl with his branch that he likes to climb on, his hammock, and then his rock wall where he's currently sitting on, underneath his heat, basking after having a big meal of a medium sized rat. He will be upsized soon to a large rat, and he's got his uh, light strip just behind this wooden panel. The only way I can get to it is by that little door there, which is not fun getting into. Above Mari is Molly, my uh, jungle carpet python. She has her ceramic heat globe up there, a light strip, a bit of foam walls, a couple of sticks, a couple of rocks, a water dish, fake plant, and she's fed on adult mice. 
she's currently going to shed soon so she's not looking her best at the moment got a bit of substrate in your mouth there darling hello you want to come out this is very unlike of you usually she'll just sit there and uh, hiss at me but she's being very inquisitive today but that's it for the Raptor Room guys so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video uh, you can also follow me on Instagram the link will be in the description any questions please leave them below and I'll see you guys in another video. Thanks for watching.